vaping is on the minds of many parents, and it's apparently on top priority for the White House as well. Yeah, you might have heard the Trump administration considering banning flavored e-cigarettes altogether. Dr. Mandy Ramirez here this morning to talk about the potential side effects, the effects on kids. Good morning. Good morning. This is all over the news right now. The illnesses, the lung illnesses that are coming from vaping. It's lung illnesses, it's potential damage to your lungs, not just acutely, but maybe chronically. And what about the other damages that we haven't really heard about in the news, like the developing minds that are exposed to nicotine and other substances, mm -hmm. as well as, of course, some reported deaths. So we have to remind people that right now there is an association, and a pretty strong one. We've seen hundreds of cases, and what links all these cases together is the fact that people use these vaping or e-cigarette products. So this is a really amazing push from the Trump administration in response to this, to say that it's really gotten out of hand, we really have to regulate this better. So the first thing that they are thinking of doing is actually taking off from the market the uh, flavored e-cigarettes. So what that means is, you know, when you vape or you use an e-cigarette, essentially what you're using is a substance, usually a liquid, but you can use other substances in there that are flavored. Now a lot of these companies have been um, accused of marketing to the youth. So we're talking about teenagers, even children, people that should not really even have access to this legally because in most states you have to be 18 or 21, but they have flavors like cotton candy and mm. menthol and cucumber, mint, you know, really fun flavors that appeal to the youth. Um, and unfortunately, for the first time in almost a decade where smoking had gone down, now we're seeing the vaping rising. And so this is getting a whole new generation of people that may never have been exposed to smoking or cigarettes addicted to this substance. So unfortunately, what is showing up in hospitals and to doctor's offices are people saying they have pneumonia-like symptoms. So we're talking about shortness of breath, coughing, chest pain, fever, possibly nausea, GI symptoms. And again, what's linking all these cases together is after reasonable treatment, maybe treating it like a pneumonia, with antibiotics, people not getting better, what we're seeing is that vaping has linked everyone together. So the FDA, the American Lung Association, other organizations have come out and said, do not use e-cigarettes now. So what they have said is if you do not currently smoke, if you have never smoked, do not use the e-cigarettes till we kind of figure out what's happening. The Trump administration has stepped up and said they will eliminate or be probably eliminating the flavored cartridges. And you know, ultimately the argument from these electronic cigarette companies has been that this was a product that was supposed to make smoking safer mm -hmm. or a right. safer alternative to smoking. But what's happening here is people that have never been exposed to smoking before, again like the youth, the teenage population, is now starting a substance that they may never have started before. Mm. So it's a public health crisis. It's definitely affecting our youth and not to mention, of course, the minds of the youth. So these electronic cigarettes often have much higher nicotine contents than just a regular cigarette. So to a developing mind, we don't even know the long-term effects of that. So for now, the recommendation is really don't use these products. If you are using these products, to really be aware of the symptoms, shortness of breath, chest pain, fever, really be cognizant of talking to your doctor or going to the emergency room if necessary. Very, very important topic that we will continue yeah. to cover. Thank you so much, Dr. Mayor. Yeah, great Thank to you be very here. Much. All right.